today we're going to be reading a story together, and you have a lot of work to do with me on this one. Um, you will have see a story called The Big Mess in your folder. And also, um, and if you don't see this in your folder, that's okay. I think there's one of you I missed because you were on vacation, and I may not have gotten this to you because um, I didn't think about printing it out earlier. But um, you can still take a separate piece of paper and then um, just copy a couple of the words on that we're going to be doing. And then you'll use that same piece of paper because we're going to map out this story today and figure out the character setting and plot um, for our story. So you should be able to find two pieces of paper, one that has the story and then this story map paper that um, I will show you looks similar to mine. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to read it first for you. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to map out the story. And so um, this story is called The Big Mess. And I'm going to follow these scooping. And you can do the same thing with your finger as you read it with me. I know that it's probably hard to see on the screen, which is why you have your own copy. The hall was such a big mess. Mom was not mad. She did not yell, but she said, pick this up. What a mess, said Mom. Put your ball in the box and get this mud off the wall. Jill and Bill did the big job. Did they fuss? They did not fuss at all. All right, so let's think about the characters in this story. I'm going to pull over my map. And you can pull out what looks like yours. So the top of your map is the beginning of the story. It tells us some of the characters. So there are three characters in this story. Those are the people in the story. Who is in this story? Well, first we hear from mom. I know everyone knows how to write the word mom on their paper, so go ahead and write the word mom. Then there are two characters, the siblings, Jill and Bill. So let's write Jill, J, J, I, O. Jill has a bonus letter in it, so make sure you put two L's. The other word is Bill, B, Ill, B, capital B for Bill's name, I, O. Two L's once again because they end with an L, so it's a bonus letter. Mom, Jill, and Bill. All right, where are they? Where do you think they are? It does not say exactly where they are. Oh, it actually does give you a clue. So I was thinking they're in their house. But it tells you exactly where they are in the house. Do you remember? The hall. And hall has the all sound in it. So if you remember from this week when we learned about all, how do we spell it? All. H. All. Do you remember how to spell all? A. L. L. I told you that we'd be doing some writing that you could do today. Mom and Jill, Bill are the characters, and they are in the hall today. All right, we need the plot. What's the problem? Is there a problem in this story? Mm hmm. There's a big mess. That's the title of the story. So I'm going to write big mess. Mm, mess. Ends with an S. That means it has a bonus letter. Big mess. So, let's talk about the order. If you were to retell me the story, I'm not going to make you write this down, so I won't even write it down, but I want you to be able to retell me the story. What happened first, next, and last. And at the end, usually at the end of the story, is how they solved the problem. The big mess. How did they solve it? So, what is the first thing that happened? Well, mom came in the hall and there was a big mess. Second, mom told them, clean up that mess. Third, what did Jill and Bill do? They cleaned up the mess. So the solution to the problem today is clean. They cleaned up the mess. And so if they cleaned up the mess, do you remember the very ending? They did not fuss. So... That means they cleaned it up without complaining. Do you think you can clean up things in your home without complaining? Your moms would just love that. So everyone should have been able to fill in this part. And then if I ask you tomorrow, what was the story about? You should be able to retell me the story. 
we're going to go ahead now and do one more thing. On your story, if you notice, we just found a bunch of bonus letter words. So we're going to do two things. If we see a word with all, we're going to box it. Not circle, we're going to put a square on it. And if we see a bonus letter, we're going to star it. So I'm going to look at my paper, and you're going to do this with, um, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you because you're going to go back and do it. So I'm going to start with the hall. There's the word hall. I see the all, so I'm putting a square around it. And all, remember that L, it's a bonus letter. So on the second letter, I'm going to put a little star on top of it. So I just put like a little pointy dot. If you're not sure how to do a star, I'll show you another way to do a star. There's two ways to do a star. You can do a star if you're really good at making stars like this. Or you can just do a bunch of little lines that kind of look like a asterisk star. Was such a big mess. I see the word mess. Mess has a bonus letter. So I'm going to star over S. Let's keep going. Mom was not mad. There are no bonus letters in that section. She did not yell. Yell. If you look on your paper, yell has two L's. So we're going to star that one. But she said, pick this up. Now you're looking at other things that you see, but I'm looking today to see if you can mark all the bonus letters. And if you happen to see the word all, like in hall, you can also box that. Go ahead and pass this in. I'll be looking at it later this week.